Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to restore your rubber floor mats. And to do that, we have two products in front of us here that we're going to be doing a comparison test. Uh, one of them is the Adams Rubber Mat Liner Protectant. This is a newly to the market product. And then we have a very popular product here by Coach Kemi, the Gummy Fix. Now, both of these products, you can find them at carzilla.ca. I'm going to put the links below for you guys to check it out. And also feel free to take advantage of my 5% discount uh, when you shop at Carzilla. Both of these products are specifically designed to restore your rubber floor mats without the risk of any injury. Because traditionally, when we wanted to restore our rubber mats, when they get faded and they have that ashy look, typically we would use a water-based dressing. But the problem with those dressings is that even though it brings back a very nice dark look to the mats, mats become very slippery and then it's very dangerous going in and out of your vehicle. And so that's where these products come in. So starting off with the Coach Kemi, you get this in a liter form for $42 Canadian. And then the Adams comes in a 16 ounce bottle for $24 Canadian. So if we compare these uh, ounce to ounce, the Coach Kemi comes in at about $1.31 per ounce and the Adams comes in at about $1.50 per ounce. So in the long run, it'll be cheaper to go with the Coach Kemi over the Adams. So that is something to uh, consider. Now the Adams is a water-based uh, product. There's no silicones in here and it's pretty much just some uh, acrylic polymers that leave a dry to the touch finish and non-slip finish. Uh, the Coach Kemi as well is a non-silicone product. It's more of an isopropyl alcohol based product. It's very runny consistency, it has a blue color, uh, whereas the Adams here has a little bit of a creamy consistency and it has a nicer scent. It has almost like a some sort of lotion scent, whereas the Gummy Fix will have more of your isopropyl alcohol scent. It doesn't really have any pleasant scent. Now, both of these products come ready to use. There's no need for you to dilute these. However, we see that Adams comes with a uh, spray nozzle, whereas the Gummy Fix does not. Uh, you have the option to either pour it onto an applicator or they suggest in their description here that you can use this product uh, with a spray bottle. So not sure why they wouldn't add a spray nozzle. I would like to see that. We're gonna be comparing these products on uh, two different types of rubber uh, floor mats. One of them is more of your tra traditional rubber OEM look uh, floor mat. And then the other one's gonna be a little bit more of a textured uh, Husky liner. It's more of your WeatherTech type. So we wanna see how these products do on both of those uh, different textures of rubber. Before we start applying these dressings onto any of the mats, the first thing you need to do is wash your mats thoroughly with your preferred all-purpose cleaner and make sure you let them dry to the touch before you apply these dressings. Adams does state that you can apply this on a wet mat, so we're gonna be testing that. So after your mats have been dried, uh, now we're gonna be doing a 50-50 comparison. So on the right side, we're gonna have the Coach Kemi, and on the left side of the mat, we're going to have the Adams polishes. And so the middle is gonna be more of a control section. In terms of application, you can use either an applicator, a micro microfiber rag, or I prefer to use a brush because of all the grooves the mats have, uh, it's a uh, brush will be easier to get into and give you a more even coverage. So one thing off the bat is I didn't really enjoy the application process with Coach Kemi's uh, method without a spray nozzle because it it was a little bit harder for me to apply evenly into the bristles of the brush. And then the application process was a little bit uneven. And so with the uh, Adams, I noticed that the user experience was a little bit better because I had a spray nozzle and I was able to spray more evenly onto my brush and just apply onto the uh, floor mat. So after both products were applied with the brush, I noticed there's a little bit of excess product. So I decided to knock him down with a microfiber rag and just even out a little bit uh, the product. And after taking a closer look, we see that both products did indeed darken the mat. They restored that uh, finish and they both look really nice. I noticed a slight more darkening effect on the Adam side, if I'm being honest, just, just slightly, nothing too drastic. Both products were dry to the touch. And I also noticed on the Husky liner, the Adams gave a little bit of a velvety, more silky look to the mat, whereas the Gummy Fix was a little bit more of a flat look, but they both look just as dark, if that makes sense. It's really hard to explain. You'd have to see it in person to understand. 
And as you see here, the comparison, you can also judge for yourself. Okay, so for the next test, like I mentioned, I wanted to retry the user experience with the Coach Kami Gummy Fix. So I did add a spray nozzle onto the bottle and I decided to use both products, give them about 10 sprays on each side to see how they're gonna do with the same amount of product onto the, uh, the mat. So I noticed immediately when I used the spray nozzle and I sprayed it onto the mat with the Coach Kemi, I noticed the user experience was day and night. So this is the way, in my opinion, to apply these products. You need to use a spray nozzle um, with the gummy fix. And also for this mat, I decided to let him self level. I didn't knock him off with a microfiber rag this time. I just wanted to see by self leveling, if we're going to get any more of a darkening effect, or if we're going to see any more benefits through that. I did notice a slight more darkening effect from both products. And, and so on my last test, I decided to uh, wash a mat and apply these products wet after I rinsed it off. Even, and I honestly, when I applied both products, I didn't notice any difference at all. The mat looked uh, pretty uniformed. And so I didn't really see any benefits uh, applying the products this way. Now I did test both of the original mats uh, when I put them into the vehicles. I did a anti-slip test to see if either one would be slippery. And so I noticed that uh, the gummy fix side was slightly a little bit more slicker, but nothing too concerning, nothing like a dressing or anything like that. Both products are very dry and feel safe. And so I did the same test on my other vehicle on the Husky liners. And I noticed again on the right side where the gummy fix was applied, it was a little bit more slicker, but again, nothing too concerning or something to be worried about. Both products are pretty safe. All right, and so here we are a week later. As you see, the products obviously will wear out a bit and it, that is expected. These products are not meant to last a very long time because of all the friction and the heavy contamination that uh, naturally the floor mats get. So you would need to apply these for every wash or every other wash. So it's not a big deal, but that's to be expected. All right, and so to share my thoughts and conclude the video, um, when I tested both products here, you can't go wrong with either product. Both of them performed just as good. I, like I said, I noticed a slight more different texture look on the Atom side. It gave me a little bit more of a velvety look. Um, application, both of them were a pretty straightforward, pretty good. However, the one thing I would recommend for Coach Kemi to consider is when they sell the Gummy Fix, to add a spray nozzle with this product, to sell it with a spray nozzle because the user experience is a lot better when you use it this way over just pouring it onto an applicator. So that would be my one suggestion uh, for Coach Kemi. But both products, user experience was amazing. Very easy, very straightforward. They both perform equally well. They are indeed non-slip, so there's no concerns there. If price is of a concern, the Coach Kami is the way to go because it's going to be slightly cheaper in the long run. Like I mentioned, you're going to be running about $1.31 versus $1.50 per ounce. I'm very happy that we actually have products that darken and restore your rubber mats without the cause of injury, like I mentioned initially. This step will elevate how your interior will look. I would highly recommend check both of these products out for yourself, see which one you enjoy most. And so that's going to be a wrap for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you guys out and uh, we will talk to you on the next one. Take care.